Hello. With no cameras, with no film, with no recording, Bradley Martin and Logan Paul had a straight up fight, and you can tell who actually won this fight by the way they're behaving in this footage here. Their reaction to the end of the fight. Let's take a watch. That's it. That's it. Now, here, look at how Logan Paul is smiling, and Bradley Martin is. He's looking off at a distance. He cannot make eye contact. He doesn't want to make eye contact. He looks defeated, like something bad happened to him. And if you study lobsters, they actually fight for dominance. And one increases in testosterone and serotonin when they win, the other one loses it. That's what we see here. Logan Paul has a spike of testosterone and serotonin. He won the dominance battle, and Bradley Martin has lowered in it. This picture says everything. Bradley Martin, he looks defeated in this frame right here. And Logan Paul, he's ecstatic. Testosterone and serotonin spike. Dominance battle, victory versus loss. That's what we see here. Bro, <laughs> thanks for letting that happen. Yeah. Sometimes, bro, boys gotta be boys, man. <laughs> Overall, Bradley Martin seems less happy, he's been humbled, and Logan Paul, he's just in a very good mood. Bradley Martin, he almost seems defensive in this frame, but to take this even further, we actually know who won by Logan Paul's post right here. He says, humbled a bodybuilder at the last one, the last point. That's what he just said, humbled a bodybuilder in a fist fight. It must have been Bradley Martin. Now. Bradley Martin talks a lot of trash about martial artists. He believes he can smash just about anyone because he's a really big guy. Not anyone, but just because of his size advantage, he believes he can smash smaller guys than him. And in this case, Logan Paul, he's about 50 pounds lighter. He's more than 50 pounds lighter. He definitely beat Bradley Martin in this frame. Humbled a bodybuilder. That's what he said. It must have been Bradley Martin. And quite frankly... This goes to show the body language that a lifelong martial artist, someone like Logan Paul, who trained wrestling, who trained boxing, who trained with elite fighters, who takes martial arts more seriously, he's not to be trifled with by someone who has limited experience in the matter. That's what we see here. What do you think? What's your interpretation on all of this? I left your perspective in the comments below.